is a lot to handle here. More than once, always difficult. Welcome back to another episode of Tap That. We are at the clear, um, let me redo that. <laughs> The cider's getting to me. Welcome to Brown Box the North. We are in the heart of Clearwater Beach. This is your Megaplex of the night. This is the best premiere I've had. It's very, very good. I might actually like this better than High Life. Welcome back to another episode of Tap That. I'm Mally Ray. We're at the Brown Box the North in Clearwater Beach. And oh my gosh, look at my spread. Bent Paddle out of Duluth, Minnesota has come through. They sent me three beers. These I'm not going to tell you what they are yet, but we will be reviewing all three. This will be a, a mega episode. This brewery is so cool. They have a really unique story, and I'm probably going to butcher their story. And if you guys are watching, y'all can tell me in the comments. But basically, two couples met like at a charity event at a craft beer festival in Minneapolis. And I think the wives were like, the guys should get together and brew something. And that's basically how Bent Paddle was born. And I, there's probably so much more to that story, but it's incredibly cool. Basically, it was two guys who had a love of brewing beer who came together, and now ma they made this amazing brewery. They sent me so many cool things. So I've got lots of like keychains. They've sent me stickers. These beanies they sent, which are so cute. Really nice quality. They say Bent Paddle on them. I've got koozies everywhere. Um, and they sent me three of their beers, one of which being this hefty, hefty. It actually is brand new. Like, I think it just was released in August of this year, August 22. I don't know when this episode will air, but this is a new beer for them. It's called Hefty Heffy. It is a Heffy. We know those aren't always my fave, but I am a fan of Bent Paddle. So Bent Paddle has an IPA, and I'm going to, what is the name of the IPA that I love? Bent Hop. Bent Hop IPA by Bent Paddle is so freaking good. And when I lived in Minneapolis, St. Paul, I drank that all the time. Like, it's like at most bars, so it was a really good one to order. So Hefty Heffy, 5% ABV. So we're going to start with that one, and then we're going to unveil the other two, because they sent me three. So freaking nice. And I love when that breweries do that, because I can't get my hands on everything down here, and then I don't get to review your beers. So send me stuff, because I love to be able to try things from other places. So Ben Paddle Brewing. Duluth, Minnesota, hefty, hefty, brand new, August 22. Look at that, that's pretty. Maybe it'll be like the first hefty. I'm like, I like it. Mmm, it smells really, really good. It has the typical hefty smell. It, it smells very traditional, with a little bit of a little zest to it, which is nice. That rocky head is gorgeous, it's beautiful. Okay, bless you. Somebody sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow, something happens when you drink this. <laughs> so let me, let me gather my thoughts on this one. It's not, a, it doesn't taste like a traditional heffy to me. I, usually these heffies have that weird like tang to it that I'm not a fan of. This doesn't have this. This almost, I could swear that it tastes like an Oktoberfest. It's got a very um, warm like flavor that just floods your mouth almost like instantly you feel it everywhere. Is the biscuity word I'm going for? I don't know if that's traditional in here, but it's definitely a really, really um, overwhelming flavor. It's a really smooth one. It's easy to drink. I, I don't know what I would give it. I was prepared for a heffy, but I don't really feel like it has a lot of hefeweizen flavoring, which is good for me because <laughs> I don't really care for that, but it is really good. There's lots of great flavors. So I think for this one, I like it. Um, because I do like Oktoberfest, those aren't bad. So I think I'm gonna give it a 3.1. It's actually really easy to drink. It's a, it's a big explosion of flavor in your mouth, but it's definitely not tangy as like a heffy, and it's, it's clean. I, I actually like it. I know my husband's gonna love it. So we're gonna set that one aside. Well, there's a lot to handle here. More than one's always difficult. Okay, up next from Ben Paddle is another one they sent me, and I don't even know which one this is yet. So let me let me let me get my notes. I gotta get it out of the koozie. It's the Dunkel. So this one is a uh, Munich style Dunkel Lager by Ben Paddle. It is. Let me see what the ABV on this. One. I'm not prepared for all these. I get them all confused. Also brand new. Oh my gosh, it's um, it's August 22. 5.4% ABVs. It's different, right? It tastes like a traditional heffy. What in the hell? You like it? It's good, right? Yeah. I didn't think it tasted like a traditional. Now they're going to hate me. My husband tasted the heffy and said it tastes identical to a traditional heffy. 
but what do I know, right? So this is the Dunkel Lager, so we're gonna try this one now. It's another one by them, and this is also new, straight from August of 22, ooh, but it's Munich style. Germany, yeah, I know that's in Germany. I know where Munich is, jeez. I just don't know what that style is normally dark for a lager, you know what I mean? So this is a darker lager. This review is comical. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, it smells really, really rich, kind of caramely. Oh, wow, okay. So it doesn't taste dark, which is nice, because I don't really care for them when they're that dark. It's, it tastes really light, like a lager. That is very clean. That's probably the cleanest dark beer I've ever tried, realistically. Like just instantly rolls off your tongue. Um, that's another good one, damn. Um, this one I would probably give, I don't love it as much as I loved the Heffy, so I'd probably give it a 3.0. It's, it's not, it's a very easy drinker and it's very clean. It does have some caramely hints to it, but it's not heavy. But I do, so far I still like the Heffy the best, so. That's that one, that's the Dunkel. Their next one, they sent me their Fest beer, and it's also from August to 22, if I could get it out of the koozie. These koozies are high quality. They're like not the cheap ones. They're actually really thick. Oh, it's cute can. This is a German style Fest beer. I think it's 5.7%. There's a notice on all their cans, 10% of the earth's fresh water is found in Lake Superior. And it says 100% of our beer is made with that water. Oh my gosh, we should have covered that in the beginning. That's actually really cool. If you've never seen Lake Superior, it's absolutely beautiful. Just actually a really cool little fact. All right, Fest beer, German style Fest beer, 5.7. Brand new, August of 22. Let's see if it beats out the Heffy. This will be the only Heffy that ever wins. I can't believe it. Mm. Smells like a Fest beer. Smells very clean. That's got a little bite to it. Still very clean, lots of flavor up front, and then rolls off. I, I like it about as much as I like the Dunkel, so I would rate this one a three as well. I think they're all great, they have great cans, but for once, the Heffy wins. I, I'm actually in shock. But the Fest beer's good. So I just wanna give a special thank you so much to Ben Paddle for sending these out. Um, these are great beers, they're all made very well. My husband's actual favorite was the Dunkel. He drank the rest of the glass. He actually loved that one. My favorite was the Heffy. And I do want to say thank you so much for the beanies. Um, I don't think we'll need them in Florida, but we do travel. We go to Minnesota a lot, so I'll definitely be rocking these. Um, but thank you so much. We appreciate it. Three is too many. Two was fine, but three is just not working out for me. You have all these to try. Dark, dark beard. This thing was black. Yeah. I know. And it's, it's, pretty, light. it's pretty light for a dark beer. But you wouldn't even know it's dark when you drink it out of the can, like if you didn't see it. According to the guys, they were very impressed with the Fest beer and thought the Dunkel was just incredibly surprising with how much flavor, its color, and how light it was. All great beers, Ben Paddle, you absolutely never disappoint. Uh, thank you again, we appreciate it. And I love the whole Lake Superior, like that they use the water, that's just sick. That's super cool. I gotta go change my shirt if you wanna get these yeah. keys out of the way. Yeah,